Hey, orange one here. So I'm going to be going over in this video how to um, become a raider, essentially. Now, this character is pretty far along in the game, but basically what you want to do is, same as all playthroughs, you start killing looters, you get some experience, you get your troops some experience, you go towards the local um, bandits that are a little bit tougher, you kill them for a little while. But if you want to actually make some real money, here's what you do. You go over, you find a village, and I'm at war with this, this faction, that's why they're red. Um, and you will go to war if you start raiding villages. Um, the interesting thing though is if you press alt over a village, it will give you a little bit more information. Right here, I think this place has been raided recently, I think I actually raided it, so it's only got one militia right now so if I try to do anything hostile um, they actually can't stop me so I can just start raiding like that now usually places have a militia though so if I go to like um, yeah they're kind of coming towards me I, I wanted to show over the loading screen soon but I just kind of want to show you something really quick before that and that's the um, what you need to do to really actually attack a village. Um, you know, in the old games, it was actually much easier to raid a village. Oh, this place actually has been taken over by the other faction there. It will go over to, well, look, let's just demonstrate it. You know, I'm not gonna actually keep the save. Uh, so if I go over to this village, they've got a militia of 11. I wonder if they'll actually stand up to me or not, or if they'll just kind of let me raid. No, so here the militia will actually fight. Um, I'm not going to actually fight them. They're just militia units. So if you've got like tier 2 and 3 units, you can take them out pretty easily. If you've got tier 4 or 5, you can crush the militia super easily. And you'll get some loot, you'll get some prisoners. Uh, but what it's really all about is this. This is the real good part. Um, basically, you get um, some goods every i don't know the exact time period but over time you get some goods and you can change the speed that you're going at right now and you can see these villagers are kind of waiting for me to finish raiding and uh, you want to be careful because enemy lords may approach you so you can do this quickly but um you can slow it down which i really appreciate because uh essentially in the old game you'd be stuck here and then someone would just raid you and you couldn't escape. Now if they come towards you, you can totally dip out. And I'm wondering if anyone will come towards me. It does not look like it. But I've had it in the past where some dude was running towards me and then I had to get out of there. And so I actually don't take prisoners when I'm doing this because um, you usually need to leave pretty quickly. But yeah, you just essentially get all those goods and um, they, they come in gradually but you can just leave at any point and take what you have so it's super cool in addition to that you can actually also um make them oh yeah you're gonna complain yes you gotta be considerate of that your um companions may complain about raiding um so you want to uh, pick ones that are sympathetic to it now if you don't have enough troops to a attack a village like that, uh, you want to basically just walk around the countryside looking for villagers. Like kind of like that caravan, you'll you'll see uh, villagers every once in a while. Yeah, like these guys right here. And if you really want to make some money, you'll you're gonna look and see when they're leaving their village, and you're gonna try and attack them while they're away from the village and going towards the city because that basically means that they have goods because um, if you were looking at my caravan and workshop video I talked about how these guys actually bring goods from their village to the city so you can cut them off and attack them so they're essentially an easier caravan um, so you can uh, attack them they'll always fight you even when they're vastly outnumbered these guys are basically looters like I'll, I'll show you what they look like they're essentially the looter units so it's um Kill them all! these guys honestly you could probably attack them just yourself 
and take them out with like a small group but um yeah you're gonna make a faction really mad by doing that yeah look they've got the stones <laughs> so you you, you want to be careful because if you actually do uh, go about going down this path if the empire captures you that uh, you're raiding like this they're gonna execute you if you've got death on at least <laughs> I can't even get it I've gotten one damage like multiple times there we go <laughs> yeah so these guys are not difficult man I cannot get a kill okay I'm just gonna end the the battle this is too embarrassing <laughs> Is a great raider. Um, yeah, basically, these guys, they're worthless as prisoners. But here's what's good. Like, look at all that grain. Look at all those grapes. So if you see some villagers going from a place with, like, a valuable good, like, grapes, yeah, they're, that's okay. But if I found, like, um, like, a silver ore, like the silver ore place, and... Um, I think we actually got silver ore, didn't we? Yeah, like that's a ton of money. So if you find one of those rare uh, resource villages and you find villagers leaving that place, going to a city, you got some pretty good goods there. Obviously, you're not going to sell, sell it out of that city. Um, and if I were you, I'd recommend raiding one faction and one faction that's kind of in the center of the map. And then that way, you can leave said faction and go trade with a different faction. Um, extra points if you can get hired as a mercenary and do this during wartime because then you're gonna like get all this like good reputation with that faction for doing it and it has a huge impact on the empire over time because think about this like if you have all these villagers and whatnot they're um, getting cut off you can essentially starve a city you could totally like um, just attack caravans that are going towards the city and attack villagers that are going towards the city and not do an actual siege, but do a small scale siege. And you can also just disrupt the economy um, like these cities will hurt economically if they're not getting what they need. So if you do this long enough, you can totally wear down like a superior army um, from a superior nation. It's like, you know, it's like Vietnam all over again, essentially. Right. Um, but you can totally do that. You can like be like, okay, yeah, go attack my cities. And this is what I did in my Let's Play. I'm going to just go attack all your villages. Just all of them. Every single last one. I'm taking it. <laughs> you know? And that uh, worked out pretty well for us. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's the main idea behind raiding is... A, don't get caught unless you are able to hold off a lord. And I am not even at that point. I would recommend having significantly more troops or maybe better troops than what I've got but um, yeah most of the time you want to run away from the main factions unless you're at war and you've got other lords that want to help you out and be supportive of you um, yeah it's it's not really worth it trying to actually fight a lord if he comes and attacks you and if you're being a bandit, you're not really going to attack a castle. You're not going to get to that <laughs> unless you really lay in the game. Um, yeah, I think that was pretty much everything I wanted to go over with the raiders. Just be kind of careful because if you are trying to later on join a faction uh, or you're trying to get troops, you may have made some lords very mad at you who no longer want you in that faction. Or they may vote against you or they may vote to execute you you know there's all kinds of things this could not go your way um and if you get one of those places later as a thief you're gonna have a pretty bad reputation with them you know so uh <laughs> you're not gonna get as good of taxes you're not gonna get as good of units if you try and recruit from there you might not even be able to recruit at all so you want to be careful with if you're gonna be a raider you can do it as like, um, I'm going to go raid this one faction um, while it's at war with another faction and you're pretty safe at that point because you're already in a faction and you're kind of acting within the um, like the rules of war. So like NPCs won't get too mad about you raiding during a war if they're in your faction. They will still get very mad at you if they're the one whose village just got raided. 
Um, also, oh, one other thing. I forgot to even talk about this. I just saw it in my notes. Um, roguery. Roguery, this actually goes up the more you do some of this banditry stuff. Um, so you can raid a little bit faster. Um, you got all kinds of little boosts that go with this. So if you're trying to be a raider, you're going to want uh, some cunning uh, and roguery. And you might want scouting as well. Because um, this gives you spotting distance. So you'll be able to see the lords coming to you quicker. And so you'll be able to avoid them a little bit better. And then this will just make you loot a little bit faster. And then also there's another kind of interesting aspect to this. If you go into, um, yeah, I don't know if I want to go into the city during the siege. I've actually not tried that. Um, hold on, we're leaving. I'm not doing that. Nope. Um, basically you can, uh, there's little gangs um, maybe let's just load up another save just to show you. We'll go back to Hubyar. Yeah. So there are there's some roguery that you can do in a city as well. Uh, it's very different. You're gonna not be so much of a raider. You're gonna be more of a gangster. Um, and it's very, very profitable. But basically, you're gonna want to go into one of these cities and um, find a gang that oh man it did it again spawning us way outside so if you go to um tavern district go to the tavern and then we'll we'll just leave you can do a little bit of like criminal stuff in cities there's some quests that are related to it that you can get from like duel of the needle and the other unique npcs or you can go to like the waterfront here um, anything with like a flagpole like that, th that's like gang territory that you can fight with a gang over. Now, this character's not really built for it, so I'm not going to be able to take these guys on, but I'll try for the sake of the video. Basically, you go up to these dudes, you say, hey, having a look, I don't take orders from the likes of you. And then you get into a little fight with them. Varying degrees of success. Uh, of course, that did not go my way. But if you take that from them, and um, if you have some companions with you, they'll fight with you. Um, you can take that from them and then defend it, and they'll attack back, and you can actually pull from your whole party to defend it. So you can actually do some um, kind of like illegal stuff in cities as well. It's not fully fleshed out as of the time of this video, so it's kind of an afterthought. Um, maybe I'll do more on that when it's more fleshed out. But in any case, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.